another important decision making is how you are going to allocate the limited resources of the company so we have the utilization of your scarce resources so for example the department store has a limited amount of low space and therefore cannot stock every product that may be available. So, dili tako ang ilahang area. So, dili po tanan ilahang ma-display. So, as unsa man nga products dapat ang ilahang i-feature dito. So, may dapat nilang ibutang dito. Unsa man kadaghan na ang ilahang stock dito. For a CPA firm, due to limited uh, personnel so they may choose between performing work for client a or for client b or a manufacturing firm that has limited number of machine hours and a limited number of direct labor hours at its disposal so when capacity becomes pressed because of scarce resources the firm is said to have a constraint na shy limit dili niya uh, freely mahimo ang tanan kay dili man unlimited ang resources because of the constraint scarce resource the company cannot fully satisfy demand so the manager must decide how the scarce resource should be used here comes your prioritization unsa man dapat natong Unahon, asa man ang mas tagaan na tuog resources. Fixed costs are usually unaffected by such choices, so the manager should select the course of action that will maximize the firm's total contribution margin. This is based on the assumption that the product choices are short-run decisions because we have the we have adopted the, the definition that in the short run Capacity is fixed while in the long run, capacity can be changed. So to maximize the total contribution margin, a firm should not necessarily promote those products that have the highest contribution margins per unit. In short, dili lang nato tanawon kung dako ba siya o contribution margin per unit. Ang dapat natong tanawon is pila ang contribution margin per unit of this curse resource. So, dapat magbase ta atong resource nga atong gigamit. Pinaman ang contribution margin kada resource. So, to understand this concept, let us apply it in the problem. So, Ian Company makes two kinds of bread. We have the hand rolls and soft rolls. Assume that the company can sell all the bread it produces here are, here is the breakdown of the revenue and cost for each type of bread so per unit parihas sa o contribution margin ang soft rolls and hand rolls so if you're we are basing our decision only based on the cm per unit we can say nga uh, either hand rolls or soft rolls ang ako ang gamon anyway maor man gihapon ang ako ang himuon ay sorry ako ang ma makuha akong ma ang kitaon kung hand rolls unya mamaligya ko tag 4 man per unit kung soft rolls sa akong pilion 4 pesos pod per unit ang ako ang contribution margin so uh, indifferent but that is not the correct way to analyze uh, considering that you only have a limited resources dili man jud only suppose um Suppose that Ian's ca capacity is limited to 720 machine hours per month. So, maoray machine hours nga kaya sa sold so sa kabuan. And ang kaya ma-produce sa 720 machine hours kay 300 hard rows or 500 soft rows. So, as you can see, mas daghan ang kayang magama nga soft rows kada machine hour compared, compared sa hard rules so which product should Ian produce to maximize its profit so we can apply the following steps first determine the contribution margin per machine R of each product okay then rank the product lines according to the contribution margin per machine R and consider the market limitations if there are any then compute the units to be produced based on the profitability 
ranking mate. So, how are we going to allocate the available machine hours? So, the rate here provided is per machine hour. So, kung atong i compare si hard rules o si soft rules, sa 720 hours available, sa so, hard rules, ang kaya niyang i-produce in total would be 216,000 units, okay, for hard rows. And for the soft rows, so this is times 500, that would be 360,000 units. So, mas daghan ang kayang ma-produce sa sold sa usakabuan for the soft rows compared to the hard rows. Now, how much would be the contribution margin per machine R? So, according to the contribution margin, kada machine R would be 4 pesos. And then, multiply it by the 300 units to determine how much would be the total contribution margin for the, the total niyang uh, units that can be made per machine R. So, that's 1,200 per machine R. Mauna siya ang contribution margin. Mauna siya ang mahatag na to nga uh, profit after deducting our variable cost per machine R of the production of the hand ro hard rolls. Then, for the soft rolls, that would be 2,000 pesos kada machine R. So, kung mag-produce man ganita at tugid ta sa... Uh, product wherein dako taog kitaon kada oras, di ba? Para ma maximize ang ato ang oras. I-allocate na to ang atong available nga machine hours at sa types of product that would bring more benefit to our company. Compare comparing the two, mas dako pa man taog benefit if we produce soft rows compared to the hard rows. So therefore, our ranking would be uh, first in the priority would be the soft rows, then followed by the hard rules. Since there is no market limitation, the company should produce 360,000 soft rules that would generate 1,440,000 contribution margin. So, that's 360,000 times 4 pesos and operating profit of 440,000 uh, wherein you deduct from the contribution margin your 1,000,000 nga mga fixed costs. If only hard rolls are produced, so kanimong pili on instead of the soft rolls, that would generate 864,000 pesos, that's 216 times 4, and incur a loss of 136,000. Kaya dili man uh, sufficient ang contribution margin to cover the fixed cost na 1 million should you choose to produce only the hard rolls. But in a certain company, dili raman yun isa ang type of constraints. Pwede nga, there are combinations of other types of constraints. It could be um, limited machine hours together with limited availability of raw materials or there could also be limited dire direct labor hours available or limited um, capital. So, if there are more constraints and products are added, so solving the product mixes would be complex. So, it would be uh, better off if we apply other methods such as the linear programming. But the important thing to consider here is that when we are faced with constraints, we really need to consider the contribution margin per unit of the scarce resource. So, we prioritize ko na to. Ang pagproduce sa products, okay, prioritize na to ang pagproduce sa products na, mag -max, na, na maximize ang ato ang contribution margin per unit of the given scarce resource. So, tanaw na to, unsa man tong limited na to nga resources, and unsa man ang bagay nga products 
nga pagamitan ato nga resources. So, ang bagay ato is katong na ay dako nga contribution margin per unit of this course resource. Here is another example for the maximization of the uh, contribution margin per unit of scarce resource. So, XYZ company is choosing which products or product to produce and sell. So, XYZ has 10,000 machine hours available. So, the following summarizes the contribution margin and the required machine hours to complete each unit. So, for product A, we have the selling price of 20 with variable cost of 10. Contribution margin is 10. But the machine hours required to produce one unit is two and a half hours. For B, you have 25 selling price, variable cost of 13, and contribution margin of 12 with required machine hours of 4. So, mas dagan ang required aning uh, oras para magama ang isa ka unit. And for product C, we have 15 selling price, variable cost of 9, and contribution margin of 6, but it requires only one R. For each product, you determine what would be the contribution margin per machine R. Sa kada oras, pila man ang ma-generate na contribution margin. So, for A, you have 2. That would be 4 pesos, I'm sorry, the 10 pesos contribution margin divided by 2.5. Diba, maon man to eh, uh, required nga time to produce one unit. So, therefore, kada machine R it can uh, generate or contribute um, contribution margin of 4 pesos. Then for B, that's 12 divided by 4 hours. That's 3 pesos per machine R, CM per machine R. For product C, we have 6 pesos contribution margin divided by 1 R. So that's 6 pesos contribution margin per machine R. As you can observe, if you are only looking at the contribution margin alone, again, uh, you are looking only at the contribution margin, your initial decision will be, I will produce product B more because it has a greater contribution margin, diba? However, since our resources are limited, tanawo na to, Asa nga product may mas dako og kitaon considering nga gamay na ato ang machine arts. So kung tan-aw ni mo sa tulo, ang nay pinaka lesser nga time, although siya pud ang nay pinaka gamay nga contribution margin per unit is product C. Pero mas daghan siya kayang magama sa sod sa uh, ka oras. Diba? Sa so, usaka oras, usaka buok. Okay? Dili sa product A, sa usaka oras, dili pa niya mahuman ang product. Sa product B, di pa po niya mahuman ang product, one-fourth pa magama. Okay? Pero sa product C, sa usaka oras, usa po niya hang magama. Therefore, sa sud sa 10,000 machine hours, kung tanaw na to sa 10,000 machine hours, 10,000 divided by 2.5 ang kayang ma-produce ani is 4,000 units. Sa 10,000 machine hours divided by 10,000 machine hours divided by 4 hours ang kayang, kayang ma-produce ani is 2,500 units. Sa product C sa 10,000 machine hours ang kaya po niya ma-produce kay 10,000 units. So, ana pa lang daan, makita ni mo, asa may masagang ma-produce. But of course, dili po ni may basihan ni mo da yun. I-multiply na ni mo siya sa contribution margin. Or pwede po ka ni mo hang tanawan, ang per machine R. So, kung i-multiply na, na siya sa contribution margin na 10, that would be uh, 10 times 4,000. So, that's 40,000 for A. Then, 12 times 2, 5, so that's 30,000. And then, 6 times 10,000, that's 60,000. Maunin siya ang total contribution margin for the 10,000 hours. So, mas dako ugid og benefit si C. Not only because daghan siya yun is ma-produce, 
But after ni mong i-consider ang contribution margin, siya good ang makaproduce o greater CM per machine R. Okay? Greater uh, CM per machine R and also greater contribution margin in total. So now your ranking would be Kung ganahan tang uh, simplified, so pwede nga niyo na ito ang pamaagi. So, the ranking will be the first one to prioritize is C, then followed by A, and then followed by B. So, assume that based on market research, the estimated demand for product A is 2,000 units, product B is 4,000 units, and product C is 3,000 units. So, unsa on the na siya pag produce. Sa on down nato siya pag-allocate ang atong uh, available nga resources. So, of course, we know that we should prioritize C in this case. So, your 3,000 units would consume how many hours? Kay per unit man, per unit kay one hour man siya. So, your 3,000 units would need um 3,000 hours. Diba? Mauni siya ang available 10,000 hours. So, sa product C, kay na ay 3,000 units times 1 R. So, 3,000 hours. So, minus 3,000. So, that would be 7,000 available hours. Since ang next na to nga ranking kay CA, Pila man kayang mahimu kay A. Ingon diri 2,000 units. Pero ang 2,000 units, pila man ka hours ang needed na niya. 2,000 times 2.5. Times 2.5. So, mag need siya of 5,000 hours. Enough ba to ang hours, available hours here? Yes. So, minus 5,000 hours. Ang remaining hours kay 2,000 na para sa B. Okay, kanin siya sa A. So, therefore, if we're going to produce this estimated demand, then you're going to produce, okay, 2,000 units of product A, a uh, product C, day, sorry, product uh, 2,000, so 2,000 for product A, and then you have 3,000 of product C, and then for product B, Kay ang imuhang available hours man kay 2,000. So, 2,000 divided by 4. So, 500 units lang. Okay? So, you have 3,000. Okay, for C, mo may priority. You have 3,000. Okay, for product A, kaya tong 2,000. And then, for product C, kay ang available naman nga time kay 2,000 hours divided by 4 4 hours kada sa kada unit so 500 so by using this allocation we're able to maximize the available 10,000 hours and uh, fit it to the existing demand when a company produces different products that are competing for resources, that business should prioritize those that will result in higher profits. Fixed costs in most cases are irrelevant since they will be incurred no, how ma no matter how many of each product is produced. Hence, the product or products with the highest contribution margin per unit of scarce resource should be prioritized. If you like this video, don't forget to click like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell to be updated with the latest video lessons. Thank you for watching!